It'd be one thing if our senile president was like most senile people and just sort of sat and stared off into space and ate jello or, or whatever. But Biden has gotten nastier and weirder in his old age, and tonight's speech in front of Union Station confirmed that for sure. He told us this evening that because of mail-in balloting, one of the many fraud abetting measures the Democrats have put into place over the last several years, because of that, we're not going to have election results in some places until several days after the voting. But don't worry. That's not a threat to democracy. It's not a failure of the most basic service government provides, which is counting the votes. They can't even do that. But don't worry and don't complain about it. The real threat to democracy, Biden told us tonight, is people who don't vote for his party. And to prove it, Biden brought up David DePoppy. Even though David DePoppy is a mentally ill, illegal alien nudist hippie living in a school bus with a BLM flag, Biden told us that he's just your typical right-wing crazy, just like the January 6th insurrectionists. Watch. After the assailant entered the home asking, where's Nancy? Where's Nancy? Those are the very same words used by the mob when they stormed the United States Capitol on January the 6th, when they broke windows, kicked in the doors, brutally attacked law enforcement, roamed the corridors hunting for officials, and erected gallows to hang the former Vice President, Mike Pence. It was an enraged mob that had been whipped up into a frenzy by a President repeating over and over again the big lie that the election of 2020 had been stolen. Every word is a lie. It's really, it's hallucinatory listening to it. None of that is true. There's no reality in those sentences that you just heard. Some people will fall for it, hardcore MSNBC viewers, but most people will not fall for it. It has no bearing on the lives they've been living under Joe Biden's presidency, which are getting worse across the board, not just Republicans, but independents and Democrats too. And that's why Democrats are going to lose if we have a free and fair election next Tuesday, including in the state of New York. And Lee Zeldin is living proof of that. He's a member of Congress, now running for governor of New York as a Republican and seems to be ahead tonight. He joins us now. Congressman, thank you so much for coming on. So this will be studied, I think, if you do win, as it looks like you will, on Tuesday. This will be studied, you know, for a long time, I think, I hope. Um, but tell us why you think in a state that went 23 points for Biden less than two years ago, you seem to be on your way to becoming the governor. Like, how did that happen? How did you do that? Focus on the issues that matter most to New Yorkers. People are hitting their breaking point and fleeing this state because their wallets, their yeah. safety, their freedom, the quality of their kids' education are under attack. When the, you have to wake up to video pictures and stories of people being pushed in front of an oncoming subway car or a green goblin gang, uh, people are be getting beaten on a street. And it's not just inside of the city. You're seeing stories from across the state. Heck, I even had a gang-related drive-by shooting in my front yard a few weekends ago. It yeah. hits as close to the home for all these New Yorkers who are hitting that breaking point. We're focusing on those issues, and Kathy Hochul doesn't want to talk about any of it. She wants us to just look away. There's nothing to see here. She's calling it a conspiracy, and even as you list actual factual data, she'll say that you're a data denier. Uh, and what she said last week in our debate was that when I was saying, hey, you know, Governor, we're almost done with the entire conversation about crime. You still haven't mentioned the whole locking up the bad guy part of this. And she said she doesn't understand why that is so important to me. And when she says she doesn't understand why that's so important to me, she's saying that she doesn't understand why that's so important to all sorts of New Yorkers. So she's really alienated herself, not just with Republicans, but Democrats and independents, too. Well, yeah, and it's not a hard formula. And I'm grateful that you're, you're doing it. You're being rewarded for it. It's like, let's not let the civilization collapse. That's not ideological. You hear people say, oh, common sense politics. That's the most common sense politics. Why isn't every Republican in America running on this? Hey, listen, I, I think it's just important to know what matters most to the person you're trying to earn support from. And we yes. get asked this question, what's the top issues of the campaign? And you have candidates who, who, like, they're thinking about what they want the top issues to be. It doesn't work right. like that. The people yeah. are in charge. The answer to the question is whatever New Yorkers or whatever your, your potential voter is telling you is the most important issue to them. That's what the most important issues of these campaigns are about. And here in New York, people want to feel safe on the streets. They want the attacks on their wallets uh, to end. They want to feel like freedom is actually being defended. And they want the quality of their kids' education to be improved. 
Yeah, they do. Uh, so you need, um, you know, you got probably got to get in the high 20s or 30s in New York City. New York is vast, of course. New York City's at the very bottom. Do you think there are enough sensible Democrats or fed up Democrats in New York City who will vote for you that you can win? Yeah, absolutely. You have Democrats who feel like their party has left them. Some Democrats consider themselves to be conservative. Some Democrats register Democrat in New York City because that's what you do. You want your vote right. to count, and you feel like the only way to make your vote count is to vote in a Democratic primary for the most normal option if you have one. You have Democrats who want to be able to ride a subway without hugging a pole or grabbing a guardrail. You exactly. know, Now you have this new congestion pricing scam, which over in London's not working out too well. They want to bring that to New York, and who knows? what other cities elsewhere. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of Democrats who aren't hyper-partisan Democrats where they will just always vote Democrat for the rest of their right. life. They want balance. Exactly. These people have not improved anyone's life, maybe their own, but that's it, and it's, it's demonstrable. Lee Zeldin, Godspeed.